All right. Well, welcome to uh, our discovery calls that we do twice a month here on the team to help promote a uh, tastefully simple. I am Sherry Fredericks, and I am partnering with the lovely and beautiful Angie Schaefer. <laughs> and I'm just going to introduce myself, and then I'm going to have Angie introduce herself. Um, I'm a diamond leader that's the top of the leadership ladder. I've been with the company for 23 years. Um, I have a wonderful husband, four daughters, three are married, five grandchildren, and I do this full time. This is my full time gig. Um, but I started out part time and then I moved into full time. So it's been a really fun journey. And I live, my address is Foxville, Minnesota. I live only an hour from Alexandria, which is our headquarters. So happy to be here. Angie, how about you? Hey, um, I'm Angie Schaefer. Like I was saying before, I'm from Creighton, Nebraska, the town. And so we get to represent both states here. But I've been a tastefully simple consultant for 14 years, almost 15. November will be my 15th. So that's kind of exciting. Um, recently in the last year, I've just really picked up doing a lot of online parties, growing my team. And so I'm officially silver leader, but I'm going to be gold again in about 31 days. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. So, so glad to have you guys. Barb's on my team. Yay. So this is what we're going to do guys. So really the discovery calls are for um, letting people know what Tastefully Simple is about from a consultant standpoint. So if you're on because you're a consultant, fantastic. If you're on because you're interested in the business, we're excited for that. So we're just going to share a little bit about Tastefully Simple. Um, your consultant that invited you to this call will be reaching out to you and answering more additional questions at the end. Um, if you, after this call, are like, oh my gosh, this is for me, don't wait. Just go to the public website. It's really the easiest. And I think Angela did that today. I did. Just go to tastefullysimple.com, click on join. Uh, there's two options. I would just recommend the $49, but you can do the $99 and just find um, write your, your sponsor, the person that invited you to this call, type in their name and it just takes a couple minutes. So, but you know what? Let's get going, Ange. I'm going to let you lead. Okay. Oh, and we All will right. have time at the end to ask questions. And sorry to interrupt you, Angie. If you have a question during it, feel free to ask. But go ahead, Angie. You can go to no, the you're fine. So thank you guys all for joining. I'm going to first talk, start talking about why join Tastefully Simple? So everybody on this call has actually made the commitment, but we have found that most people join for about three reasons. Um, and some is a combination and you might see which one kind of matches up to you. So the first one is the flavor. And that's where you just, you love our products. I think we all probably love our products and that's what grabs you first. And so maybe you just kind of want a discount with it. So you love to cook, you love to use our products and you want them for a little bit of a discount and maybe just kind of share it with friends and family. So that's kind of what we call the flavor. And then the next one is the good old cash. Um, and the cash is you want to make some money off of it, whether help to pay some bills, maybe you want to pay down some debt, um, help pay and buy something, maybe you want to redo your kitchen, whatever it might be, those types of reasons. And could it be, you know, for a, a good sized amount of cash for a full time job, or maybe you just want a little bit extra to help and to help with some savings or family fun. And then the third one is for fun. And as you can see here, here's a picture of Sherry and myself and another teammate, Kathy. This was at our national conference and we all got together for supper one night. And um, one of the most fun things I think is the friendships you'll create with our team. We have, I think the best team. We all help each other out. You know, you ask a question, you've got tons of answers and stuff. And we all just have such a cooperative feeling. And I love that. It's not a competition. It's how can we help everybody do well in this business. And there's nothing better than that. And so it could be the fun of meeting new people, going on our conferences. Like I said, this was in Minneapolis this summer, or maybe it's the recognition. Honestly, that was one of the things that I kind of liked because I'm a teacher. We don't get a lot of recognition, which is kind of sad, um, but I love that. I love being able to do well and to be recognized for my actions. <laughs> Um, and then sometimes it's the trips too. So there's so much of fun. So I would love to know what your whys are. So maybe we can ask, you know, some of our newer people. So of course, Angela, we'll start with you since you're our new newest. What is your why? Well, it's kind of weird, but um, 
a friend of mine is actually uh, hosting a craft fair and I actually a few months ago was trying to find a consultant. I haven't been able to find a reliable consultant, mm-hmm. I guess. So I kept thinking, well, if I do it, I could, I'd be reliable. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I'm planning actually on participating in the craft show that she's having. I'm going to have a table there. And I, just to have some fun. I love the products. Of course, mm-hmm. probably my favorites are the same as everybody else's favorites. The beer bread, the almond pound cake. Um, some of the seasonings and stuff, but I haven't had the products for a little while. So I'm excited to kind of get my own order going and uh, try some of the new things and just have some fun with it, hopefully. Oh, great answers. Thank you so much for that. And I kind of started like you too, Angela, because a long time ago, but nobody in my area sold it. And I was kind of like, well, I still want these. And it just, my love for the products has kept me going. Anybody else? Should we do one more? Barb, you're, you're pretty new. What was your why? <laughs> to be honest, because I'm a lousy cook. <laughs> uh, um, I became disabled and haven't been able to coordinate things and follow like things that I used to be able to cook. So yeah, flavorings and uh, seasonings were a huge help. So it started out for the flavor and now it's as much for the fun and the interaction Mm-hmm. And the cash comes is kind of nice too. Yeah, right. Great. Thank you. All right. I think you're up. All right. So excellent. Excellent. So let's talk about the income potential. So taste by simple consultants kind of make up, up to 40% in commission. I know that's pretty cool. It just depends on what you sell um, in the month. Next, we have a program called Fast Start. So Angela, I don't know if Michelle had a chance to talk to you about this, but as a new consultant, you can earn up to $250 bonus money. And Michelle can talk to you about that more um, when we're done here, but you just hit X amount of sales in each two weeks and you make extra cash. So it's a really fun way. And then as Angie pointed out, I mean, doesn't this place look amazing? You have the opportunity to earn an incentive trip every year based on your sales, your sponsoring, and your leader development. And some people do it in all three components. Some people just do it on sales. But I don't know if you like to travel or not. I love to travel. And it's always more fun when it's free. And if you've ever had to plan a trip, you're like, where do we stay? What do we do? Guess what? Tastefully Simple does it all for you. So, and like Angie said, we have so much fun in these trips. So um, just a really wonderful way to, to earn a free trip. Okay, so let's talk about how you can earn those free trips. And we do like to party um, at Tastefully Simple. I mean, everybody eats. And I know when I joined, even my dad said, you know what, Sherry, you do this tastefully simple. You can market it to men and women and old and young and those that love to cook. And, and the best part is it's consumable. So they're going to need more. Um, you can work your business around your existing life, right? I mean, I shared with you, I do this full time. Not very many people do. Most people have a full time job, have a family, and they do this on the side. So you can really work. We're not high. Our team is not high pressure. I'm not high pressure, nor is tastefully simple. So you really can do what you want with it. Now, there are different types of party styles. Um, Angie um, shared with you that she's really wrapped up her online parties. And some of you know that COVID happened a little while ago. So um, I used to do online parties, but when that hit, I knew I needed to pivot. And I do tons of online parties. I have actually two online parties going on this week in a, a Facebook online party. And while well, it's so nice to, to do that when you want to do it. So you can do Zoom, um, Instagram. Uh, next month, Tuesday night, I have an in-home tasting party. And I, I mean, that's how I started my career. And I love to do in-home tasting parties. I love for people to sample and see the interaction. So it's certainly a fun avenue. Also, catalog parties, um, meal workshops, um, you can do them in person, you can call them freezer meal workshops or meal workshops or virtually, meaning like via Zoom, it works out great. I mentioned fundraisers, um, vendor events, gosh, we have some team members, that's all they do is vendor events. Now I 
like to do a variety of these things. So I've got a big vendor event coming up at the Carlos Creek Winery, um, not this weekend, but next weekend. And then business accounts. Um, again, all of these are optional. It just depends on where you want to want to work your business and business accounts. Oh my gosh, with the holidays coming up, it could be a realtor, it could be a bank, it could be an insurance person, it could be your best friend that gives, you know, just whatever. So there's all kinds of options. Um, and the best part is your sponsor, the person that invites you to join, as well as your upline. That's who I am. That's who Angie is. Um, we are here to help you. So we have a great, as Angie mentioned, a great team. All right, so um, Angela, sorry, I'm gonna pick on you and then I'm gonna um, ask one other person, what type, if you were, you did join, so I wouldn't say if you were to join, what type of party are you thinking of holding? You talked about vendor events, but um, what are you thinking? Anything more than that, Angela? Well, my sister raises money for Project Purple for pancreatic cancer. And so she's, you know, constantly throughout the year on Facebook, you know, pleading for people to donate. And so partially I said to her, you know what, maybe if we did a tastefully simple that fundraising thing, it would be something different and people wouldn't feel like you're just asking them for money. They're actually going to get something. And then obviously, you know, I donate whatever I decide to donate. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think the vendor event, I didn't even think about that, that, I mean, uh, business would be interesting. Um, I don't know about online, maybe catalog parties, meal workshops, I love to cook. So that could be something fun to do um, that I could get people involved in. Uh, Cause I guess I don't, I'm not quite sure how that works but does that actually kind of hands on for people or are they just kind of sitting around and drinking while you're cooking? <laughs> you, know what? you can do whatever you want but a lot of times like an in-person freezer meal workshop yeah, they bring their food and you actually make it. Okay. A Zoom workshop, you know, they would go grocery shopping and they have it in front of them. Um, okay. So usually it's hands-on, but, you know. Oh, okay. So if it's a Zoom thing, everybody's kind of in their own place doing, going along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I mean, if you wanted to introduce some people to what it is and you showcase a couple of them, there's no right or wrong way. So, okay. Yeah. You have options. Yeah. So. All right. Thank you so much, Angela. All right, Ange, I think you can go to the next screen. All right. So I'm going to just answer some questions that are kind of common questions that tend to come up. And so the first one is kind of how much time everybody wants to know how much time. And I do work another job, as I kind of mentioned before, I'm an instructor. Um, and so I definitely am very busy working another job. And so what I've done is just really made my tastefully simple business work with my full-time job um, by mostly doing online. And then I'm doing now some vendor events in the, in the kind of the fall season on the weekends and stuff. So I just kind of know how much I want to do. And I kind of know how many hours I want to put into it. And I run this business. It's almost like another full-time job. Um, I do right, right now I have three online parties going on. I had two last week. I've got three more next week. And so I'm doing quite a few online parties. And, and how long does it take? It really depends. I would say um, I, what I tend to do is I do a lot of my work on the weekends and then I use tools that help me to repeat everything super easily. And that's kind of the trick I found. I knew that I had to find a way to do this to make it easily repeatable. And I share that and I'll be glad to always help teammates, you know, with that too. So it really depends. You can spend as little, you know, as five minutes a day to 15. I always encourage even if you're not doing a lot of parties to get in your business for five minutes, whether that's to post something like Angela, you said you love to cook, take a picture of it, post it online, you know, just keep that interaction with it to, you know, there's some weeks that are busier than others. And I'm spending a good half an hour or 45 minutes on my business a day, still not that bad for how long, you know, if I have like five minutes, I'll quick jump on Facebook and answer some things and stuff. So it really depends what you want to do with it, but know that you can work it into even a full-time job. The second question, how much does it cost? So you kind of already know this because you've actually already signed up, but we have an amazing kit for $49, the getting started kit. And in that you get a meal kit worth $45. So it's such a great value and it's going to get you everything to get going. As far well, as additional fees, I had to jump in with the $99. <laughs> okay. And that's, yeah, that's, well, why not? Um, especially those products. That way you get it. You get a little bit more, you get more samples. I don't blame you. That's what I would have gone that route to. 
There are a few other additional fees, um, such as our internet or internet, excuse me, our website. You get two months of free of our website. And the website also comes with a pro pay, which allows us to take credit cards online. So you get that free for two months. And then if you decide to keep it, it's like $13.94 or $14 a month. Not really bad at all. I have found that it usually pays for itself through random orders. Um, I think you'll find even, especially in Omaha, that'll probably be even more apparent from what I hear from my team. And then there's a few other programs that I use that help me run my business, like CentShare, which is a posting app and it helps me. And it's about like, I think $9 a month. So there's a few, but really, you know, you can do it definitely on the inexpensive side, which is what I encourage people to do to get started, make your money, and then maybe add to it. And the training and support, oh man, there's as much as you want. It could be like a fire hydrant coming at you. We've got so much great training and support through your teammates, through your elite, your sponsor of Michelle, um, through any of us, even asking, you know, Kim, who's her upline, but also online on our, we call it my, I'm my HQ is kind of like the black back office. There are so many sources for training. There's videos, um, there's how to steps, there's ideas, there's constantly training on Facebook, you know, Facebook lives and calls and YouTube videos that you can watch. So there's so much support. You just have to ask for it or, you know, look for it, but that's the biggest thing. There's so much support for you. You'll find with the teammates. Okay. So I'm going to jump in. Um, like I said, one of the biggest questions is, is, you know what? I'm super busy. Can I do this? And I hear this from consultants a lot. And I tell a lot of people on my team that I have found the busiest consultants sometimes do the best because we're used to managing our time and making it work and getting everything done. But here is a really great testimonial from Mary. She's an actual Tastely Simple consultant that has an outside business. It's only about a minute and a half, but we're going to take a listen to what how she talks about how she managed her business while working a full-time job. Okay. Hi, I'm Mary Laird, a Tastely Simple Consultant, and I wanted to share with you that even if you have a very busy schedule, you can still grow a Tastely Simple business and achieve your goals. I work in a hair salon, and I also manage the salon. I put in very long days, and I'm in charge of scheduling and purchasing. There are a couple days a week I don't get out of the salon before 9 o'clock at night. But I can still grow a Tastely Simple business. I choose to do Facebook parties. That way I can go in and schedule posts and have the party run even when I'm at work. I can go in on a break and check and see if I need to answer any questions. It only takes a few minutes. I have two aging parents as well, and I have to do grocery store runs and doctor visits with them. And I'm off on Wednesdays. So if mom or dad needs something from the grocery or an appointment that they need help getting to, I can still do that. I can adjust the day so I can do that and still take care of my tastefully simple business. Facebook has been a real game changer for me, being able to schedule the post. And you may say, I don't know how to do that. Well, I didn't either. Luckily, there's, we have a great team of people that were willing to jump in and help me, teach me how to do all that, schedule the post, and figure out different apps that I could use to help keep track of things. So don't let anything like that stop you, because there's somebody here to help you. I hope you decided to join our team, and I look forward to meeting you. All right. So I, like I said, just a great way to hear a little bit more um, about how to have it fit. So what questions do you have? I mean, you kind of already joined, but what do you have questions for us? <laughs> well, I guess I probably need to do some more since I haven't actually had time to even log into my HQ this afternoon because I've been running around. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe some of the questions will be answered there. Like you're talking about these online parties and mm. um, so you're not actually there, obviously. It's just kind of operating itself at the moment. Yeah. And when she yeah. was saying about yeah. Facebook, she just checks in. How does that work? So and what I do with my Facebook... That. Oh, sorry. What I do with my Facebook parties is I use a sense share, which is a software that schedules them for you. And I share that with my team. And so it automatically schedules posts on Facebook in a group that people have joined and then they'll comment. And what I do is several times through the day, 
like today I haven't done it yet. I did do it once, but I'll hop on and I'll look for comments. I'll look for questions and I'll add some recipes, but I'll comment back. So it's really just like what you would normally do on Facebook, um, you know, through the day. Are you on Facebook, Angela? I am, but I hardly post anything. I <clears throat> yeah. I'm, and most people are that I use it for my business more than anything, but I just get on and I comment, um, answer questions. You know, yes, today, I think I had somebody say, how many donuts does the donut mini cake oh. pan make, you know, and I'll get on and say, Hey, make six. Here's a little video to help. So you answer questions that way. And through Facebook, it has actually, you can schedule posts also so that if you do work, you are busy, the posts go on automatically. And then you just want to interact with them. Does that so kind of answer? You, you have to have, um, do you establish a group then that mm -hmm. these posts go out to? Yep. I create a group and then the host invites the met her friends and family oh, okay. to I it. See. And then from there I do the post and with the host, we interact and work with them, but, and there's tons of training for it too. So I've done training and they're all recorded and on our group page uh, and there's you know, on our team page and Angie, I'll just jump in here quick. Yeah, please. Michelle and Angela. a oh, great job, Angie. I will invite you to one of my online parties. So you can just like shadow, do you know what I mean? And you can check it out. So um, when we're done here, I'll find both of you if we're not friends and I'll get you on okay. to a party so you can check it out. Okay. And then I have a question. Has anybody done anything like, I, I live in a relatively new neighborhood and I, I don't know, maybe this is too old school, but I, I was thinking about, I told Michelle this earlier today, I, I was thinking about going door to door and just putting flyers in people's Mm -hmm. doors just letting them know that you know I was a tastefully simple consultant and if they needed anything that I'd be happy to help them out I don't know if anybody has done anything like that <laughs> I can answer that because I've done that because I'm relatively new in my neighborhood and I I we've got like a half a uh, half mile between houses still did it and before I got back to the house, I had a message asking for an order. So it's really worth okay. doing it. And okay. then that got around and then that got around. And so my name's getting around a little bit, maybe hopefully in a good way. Uh, but I'm starting. I had, <laughs> yeah, I was in my garden last night, yesterday morning picking stuff. And this lady called up and said, I got your name from so-and-so. I didn't know who so-and-so was either. Um, but she needed seasoning salt right away. <laughs> so I had to tell her, well, I got to get back out of the garden before I can get things started. So yeah, but, it's not, it's a really good way to get started. Okay. And does, do you guys, does everybody have like cab cards? Business cards? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right now there's a sale on, on Vista too. Um, yeah. yeah. Make sure you spend a little bit of time on the Dream Achievers page, Angela, because that's where we cover you know, keep everybody up to date. So, and you'll just want to go into my oh. HQ. And there's a great training tab and just spend okay. some time in there, Angela, and that will help you out immensely. Okay. So, yeah, excellent. Well, um, just because we want to keep the call not too long and we are recording it, um, we are just so happy you joined us and we just invite you to reach out to the person or they'll reach out to you, the person that invited you to the call. I know Michelle, Angela, our, you guys will be connecting, and I know Kim is a good resource, um, as well as myself, to help you get going. So um, thank you so much for joining. I'm just going to stop the recording.